Hi boys and girls and welcome to your math lesson today. Today is Thursday, May 6th, 2020. Today we are beginning a new unit, unit 16, addition and subtraction. So we're going to be looking at addition and subtraction now, which is going to be kind of fun, I think. So the supplies you're going to need for your math assignment today are your math textbook and a pencil. And then for Mrs. Peterson's extra activity, I'm going to be using some fishy crackers here. Um, but really, you can use anything in your house. Mrs. P just chose fishy crackers today. All right, let's get started. Let's turn to page 85 in our textbooks. Pause the video if you need more time. Make sure all set up. Okay. So, like I said, today we are starting Unit 16, Addition and Subtraction. So before we get started on this page, I want to show you a little demonstration. Maybe I'll just grab this piece of paper so you don't see this page. Okay. So here, my boys and girls, I have some fishy crackers. I'm going to start off with five fishy crackers. Can you count with me? One two, three, four, five. Now boys and girls, what will happen if I add two fishy crackers? So I have five fishy crackers. What will happen if I add two more? How many will I have? Let's see. So I have five and two. What does that equal, friends? So five, six, seven. That means I now have seven fishy crackers. Okay, now let's look at my five. So I have five fishy crackers. What's gonna happen if I take away or subtract two fishy crackers? So I have five fishy crackers. What's gonna happen if I subtract two? How many will I have? If you said three, you are right. If I have five fishy crackers and I take away two fishy crackers, I will have three fishy crackers. Okay, you're gonna try some more of these later on, but let's look at our page. So on page 85, let's look at the top picture here. It says do and talk. So at the top here, we have some bumblebees and we have a flower. Let's count how many bumblebees we have. One, two, three, four, five. Just like our fishy crackers. We have five bumblebees. Now let's look at this bottom page. So if we have five bumblebees, sorry, bottom corner here. Five bumblebees, and we add two bumblebees. How many bumblebees will we have all together? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's put a seven in the box. Okay, now let's look at, if we have five bumblebees, and two fly away. So five minus two, how many bumblebees will we have left? One, two, three. Three. So in this unit, boys and girls, one thing that's very important is that we have to make sure we're looking at the signs. So here we need to see, we knew what to do because this was an, an addition sign or a plus sign. So we knew we had to add here. For this one, we knew we had to subtract because there was a subtraction sign. So when we're doing this unit, we need to make sure we're looking at the signs so that we're adding when we need to add and subtracting when we need to subtract. Let's turn the page. Now we're just going to do these two pages today. 
because I wanted to make sure you really understood addition and subtraction. And then you're gonna do an extension activity afterwards. So we're just gonna do two pages today. So on this page, page 86, it says, add and subtract, write the numbers. So in each one of these squares, it has a different, um, kind of like a different animal story. Well, I guess these are bugs. And what you need to do is we're gonna work on adding and taking away. So this is where I was saying that it's very, very important to look at the signs to make sure that you know if you're supposed to add or if you're supposed to subtract. Let me do this first one with you. So here's some stories. Let's start. There's four hamsters. See? One, two, three, four. Now, we're going to do some different things with these hamsters now. So we're starting with four hamsters, but then we're gonna be adding and we're gonna be taking away. So, there's a few different ways that we can do this, boys and girls. I think it's easier when you're going to be adding to this, there's a few different ways you can do it. One way is you can just use your fingers. So, here we have four, one, two, three, four, and we have to add three. So four, and then I'm gonna count on with my fingers. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, now a different way that I kind of like a little bit better is on this, in this square somewhere, you can just add some ticks. So, we're starting with four, and then we need to add three. So what I would do is I would add three ticks. And then I would say four, five, six, seven. So that's two different ways that you can add. You can add on or count on using your fingers and add three, or you can put some ticks or some circles on your page so that you have something to count in front of you. You could also use Legos or Snap Cubes to help you, um, but that's just two ways that Mrs. P likes to do it. So let's do the next one. So first we did have to do adding. I looked at my sign and it was a plus sign or an addition sign. So four plus three equals seven. Let's look at the next one. This one, excuse me, this one says four minus three equals what? Four minus three equals what? Now for this one, what you can do, boys and girls, is you can just do the cross out method if you want, or cover them up with your hand. So we're starting with four and I need to take away three. So one way you can do it is you can look and say one, two, three, and I'm gonna cover it up. How many are left? Just one. A different way you can do it is you can cross them out just kind of lightly. So I have four hamsters and I take away three. One, two, three. How many are left? One. Okay, I'm going to do this one with you, and then I'm gonna let you do these two on your own. So let's look at this one with the ants. We have nine ants to begin with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine ants. Now let's look. Oh, look, the sign is subtract. So we have to subtract now. So for this one, we had to add first, but for this one, we have to subtract first. So I have nine ants and I'm gonna lightly cross out one. How many ants do I have left? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna just cross this out. 
So remember, you could put a line through it, you could just cover it with your hands. Mrs. P chose to put a line through it, but because I have to add next, I just erased it. You don't have to erase it, you can just remember to count it. But I erased it just so that it was a little bit easier. Now for the next one, it says nine plus one equals what? So this time I need to add. So remember, the few ways Mrs. Peterson showed you is you can just go nine and then you have to add on one. So nine, 10, I added one. A different way you could do it is just put a little tick. So you could go nine and one equals 10, nine, 10. Awesome. So I'm gonna get you to do these two on your own, boys and girls. So here you're looking at mice. You have eight mice, and then you have to take away four mice. Then you have to add four mice. Here you have six squirrels. You're going to add two squirrels and take away two squirrels. So remember some strategies are, when you're taking away, you can just cover that many with your hand. So one, two, three, four, I could cover those with my hand and see how many are left. A different way is you can cross them out lightly and then see how many are left. When you're adding, you can just use your fingers to add on or you can add some ticks to count if you would like to. Okay, once you're done this, I'm gonna ask you to pause this video and then complete these two. And then when you're done, what I want you to do is I want you to continue working on addition and subtraction. So maybe find some small items and just practice making subtraction and addition sentences. Kind of what you did the other day. Try making problems maybe for your family and see if they can solve them. So you can say to your family, I have five fishy crackers. What's going to happen if I add two? I'm going to have seven. Or I have five fishy crackers. What's going to happen if I take away two? I'm going to have three. So try doing that with your family or your brothers or your sisters or your grandmas and your grandpas. I hope you have a great day. Bye.